If we are talking about smartphones that are priced above 25,000 pesos, we usually expect it to be a flagship smartphone, more or less a flagship level experience. There are some brands though that put out devices in this category that are only considered mid-range devices based on what they are packing and some that are even on par with an actual flagship device. As of now, there are two devices that are priced in this category, and since we just entered the second half of 2023, expect that there is more to come. Mabuhay Manila, this is Kath, and these are two devices that are worth 25 to 30,000 pesos in the first half of 2023. First device on this list is also listed in the 20k to 25k category, which is the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. It may not be a powerful smartphone at this price point, still it is a good option when it comes to the ecosystem. Having a One UI OS is more of an exclusive experience. It has better customization and stronger security than others. Its overall design looks closely similar to their flagship Galaxy S23 series, which is an amazing experience. In terms of other specs, it still carries the same 6.4-inch FHD Plus Super AMOLED display that has a 120Hz refresh rate and is protected by a Corning Gorilla Glass 5. It is powered by a Samsung Exynos 1380 octa-core chip and 8 gigs of RAM. The only feature that you are going to pay for when choosing this rather than the cheaper Galaxy A54 5G is that it has a bigger 256 gigs of storage. Aside from that, everything is still the same from its 50 megapixel triple camera setup to its battery, dimensions, and more. In terms of its pricing, the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G 8 gigs by 256 gigs configuration is priced at 26,990 pesos, which is 2,000 pesos more than the base configuration. And the second device is one of the iterations of the POCO F series and is the big brother of the POCO F5 which is the POCO F5 Pro. It contains pretty much all flagship level features that can even compete with higher priced smartphones considering its price tag. The difference in specs of the POCO F5 Pro to F5 is enormous and it is considered a better choice than the vanilla variant. It sports a 6.67-inch QHD Plus AMOLED display that is paired with a 120Hz refresh rate, so using this as a platform for entertainment will surely be entertaining. Its cameras feature a 64-megapixel main, 8-megapixel ultrawide, and a 2-megapixel macro. It may not be comparable to flagship cameras that usually feature 108-megapixel shooter and up, but it is enough for casual photography. For its battery, it packs a 5160mAh battery capacity paired with 67 watts fast charging and 30 watts wireless charging. This device is also powered by a flagship chipset which is the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. As for options, POCO offers three configurations, an 8 gigs by 256 gigs, 8 gigs by 512 gigs, and a 12 gigs by 512 gigs UFS 3.1 combo. The two configurations both fit in the 25 to 30k budget while the upgraded 12 gigs plus 512 gigs is priced above. The POCO F5 Pro is priced at 26,999 pesos for the 8 gigs by 256 gigs configuration and 20 8,999 pesos for the 8 gigs by 512 gigs model. And this is the list of smartphones that are priced from 25 to 30,000 pesos in the Philippines. Do you think they are worth their price? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you will be updated with our future content. Also, don't forget to visit manilashaker.com for more tech news, reviews, and comparisons of the latest devices. Once again, this is Kat and Mabuhay Manila. Thank you.